Hey guys, it is Wednesday evening here in the Philippines and we are doing our premium exclusive unboxing and today's is not so exclusive um, of a brand like we usually do. This is just a Hot Wheels brand but it is a cool casting and I brought out a bunch of the different variants of this casting which is the 65 Mercury Comet Cyclone that you see in front of you. And we are unboxing the newest release of it in the Team Transporter with the Ford C800 hauler. So we'll unbox that here shortly after we take a look at the first releases of this casting and go over the history of this casting. So this is one of our uh, pioneer gassers from Hot Wheels, I guess you could say. Uh, this was released back in 2011 along with, I think, the 66 Supernova was released that year. The only thing that was ahead of this was the 63 Chevy Nova Gasser. Then you had your 65 Coronet AWB, which they tried to pass as a Gasser in the last drag strip Demons, but it's really not a Gasser. Uh, it's an AWB altered wheelbase car, uh, and it is kind of an outlaw car but not as much as a gasser. Gassers are usually straight axle cars with a blower motor, something like that. They don't always have to have like some kind of forced induction, but usually they are set up with a straight axle and stuff. That's why I'm saying the first um, actual gasser that we've seen released from Hot Wheels was their 63 Chevy 2 Nova, followed by, in 2011, this 65 Mercury Cyclone Comet and also was when the Supernova made its debut with RLC. It may have been 2012, but I think it was 2011 in the Real Rider series. Then in 13, we got our 55 Chevy Gasser. And then the latest one was the Nova Wagon in, I believe, 19, something like that. So, anyways, let's take a look at this guy. He's in our spotlight. They've released eight of them. The Team Transporter is the ninth installment in this car's variants. So, first editions are sitting here right in front of you. Um, first one that was released was this one. This was from your 2011 Grod series, how they had it broken up in like Ford, GM, and then you had your Ferrari, Volkswagen, and Mopar, and so forth. Well, this was from your Ford segment. This is your 65 Mercury Comet Cyclone Gasser. Didn't exactly say Gasser on the package, but we all can tell it's a straight axle, blower engine, roll cage, slicks in the back, and so forth. This is one of my favorites, and actually the other one is my favorite. So the two first editions are my favorites of this car because I love the wheel combination. Picked a great front wheel combination with these five slots, and then you have your five spokes in the back. The Psycho Cyclone name is a gasser name, uh, and it's very suited for this car. Like, you always have, like, the alcoholic and then the guzzler, like that new 55 gasser and things like that. And just some crazy names. But Psycho Cyclone actually fits this one perfectly. And they spelled Cyclone, like, P-S-Y at the beginning. Kind of like Psycho to match it. So, really cool um, name to put on this car. Cool graphics. A very sweet piece and not a lot of detail in the headlights or tail light area but still the tampos the wheel combination all that makes up for it so this came to us in 2011 this is the first appearance of this car then as you know and like many of their like bigger premium sets still have like maybe two variations of the car two different colors so your second release was this guy here and this looks great this looks like your street variant like that pattern like insert style paint job on the sides looks very 60 ish uh, or 70 ish and just looks great in this like charcoal metallic gray with the red pattern inserts the black top half so that black and charcoal gray two-tone looks great on this car once again love the wheel and tire combination on this car the five slots and the five spokes 
Uh, so this is also a first edition, just second color release in the first year in the 2011 Grod series. Then after these two, in 2012, it was an RLC car. I think it was Selections. It was red and white, but it only came with the Neo Classic plastic wheels. So I was not a fan of that one, never picked it up. But that one's worth quite a few bucks nowadays if you do have it. Nothing like the Candy Striper, but still nothing to be ashamed of either. Uh, then the fourth one was in the Cool Classic series, that new Spectre Frost paint with the retro slots and things like this. Those two new... Uh, features that Hot Wheels came out with for the Cool Classic series in 2013. Then um, it took a break for a couple of years after 2013 in the Cool Classic series. Then it reappeared again in 2018 for the... Um, or actually I think it was 2017 for the RLC box set. That would be this guy here. That is your Car Culture Premium Set thing where it had the 510 Datsun, the Moon Eyes Volkswagen, and then your Golf 2016 Camaro, I believe it is. So then you had your Cosmic Cyclone. And that's kind of a cool name. Cool paint job. Love this candy metallic purple. Not a big fan of these front wheels, though. Uh, they tried to make them look like the old weld, like super light wheels with the holes in them. And it just, it didn't go over too good in my opinion. The center is too bulged. It should have been dished in more. And the way that they make their axles that are like a through and through axle, it doesn't look right on these wheels. It would have been better if they would have used the center lines, which they have. They put them on the funny cars. They're a little bit thinner than these, but hey, they run thin ones on the 66 Supernova, so they could do it on this too, and that would be a killer setup. Nobody's put the center lines all the way around on a gasser yet, and I think that would look great. Um, and there's no reason why they couldn't do that, because as I said, they're doing it with the Nova, but with the five spokes. So wish they would do that, make the matching center lines all the way around would look killer. So anyways, this is your fourth installment. This is the one from 2017. Then um, it has some headlight detail, and then you got your tail light detail, so it's got some more detail than these others here. Um, then in 2018, they used it as a convention car, the Peppermint something, uh, I think a Peppermint Twist or whatever it was called, but it had that pink look to it and or pink paint job pink and white two-tone pink and white striped roof um then after that was the third installment of drag strip demons that had the five gassers well four gassers and one awb cornet and this was one of them once again they used this wheel entire combination of the holes in the front wheels and the center lines in the back cool paint job though the red light and blue uh and then it just looks really really good on this car it screams gasser and things like that so very 60-ish looking paint job they do great with the paint jobs on their gassers from hot wheels uh so and then you have your cyclone um on the door here and looks really good you have once again headlight details on this one and tail light details on it also so really nicely done on this variant of the car then that was your eighth one and then you have the i'm sorry that was your seventh one then you have your eighth one which is here in the garage this guy we just looked at a couple of weeks ago when we unboxed the black hole set so as i said then i'm not really a big fan of the black back wheels and the sidewalls on these tires that they put on the back of this one look a little too shiny and they just look a little bit strange um but still, it's not bad, and like how they used a comment name on this one, they did not do that on any of the other variants, except maybe 
The Spectre Frost, I don't remember the paint job, but I don't think so. This is the only one that I've seen Comet on. Every other one, they used the Cyclone name. So then you have your Black Hole, and once again, another appearance of these five or these holes in the front don't know why they haven't opted to use the five slots again so it looks cool in this matte black finish um and then it goes along and corresponds well with the other ones the 55 gasser and then the 66 nova gasser with the black back wheels um but as i said i would have rather seen all chrome but that's my own personal perspective on it so the only rubber uh tire variant i am missing is the convention one the two plastic wheel ones i did not opt for just because i'm not a big plastic wheel collector although the rlc one did have a killer looking um paint job that red with the white insert on the side it looked pretty much like a factory paint job it looked like they took a factory 65 mercury cyclone slapped a blower on it and put a straight axle on under it and back half it but left the factory paint it looks really good spectra frost one also is not so bad in that blue spectra frost um and the retro slots are kind of cool but i think the diameter on the wheels is too big on that it doesn't look like a racing slick on the back that's why i didn't pick that one up either eventually i may get them just to finish out the set but next on the hit list is the convention one because of the fact it is another rubber time tire installment in this uh set of 65 comments i don't know what to call it set or uh anyways if you're collecting them all which i'm trying to do with this one um, as with the Supernova and such, the gasser, kind of, the 55 Chevy gasser got out of control, so I could not get all of them if I wanted to. The prices are just unreachable for me. Uh, so right now the Cyclone and the Supernova are still within, like, affordability, I guess you could say. <laughs> so let's go ahead and do the latest one. This is your number nine. This is your latest uh, Team Transporter set. Well, one of the guys in the Team Transporter set. And one thing I wanted to point out on these new ones, if you notice, um, and uh, one of our viewers, one of my buddies uh, that's always commenting is Graham, the SCJ77, uh, I believe, and he pointed out that the boxes on the... Uh, box sets for the team transporters are getting smaller and I also noticed on the single team transporters that they eliminated the cardboard nameplate and they put the name on the card actually now which I think is a better choice it doesn't block the will so if you're a cardboard collector and you don't want to open your cars this actually gives you a better look at the team transporter and the car and everything, you don't have that piece of cardboard blocking it. So I think it's a better choice overall, but I think they're trying to save a little bit of cost on packaging. So anyways, that's my assumption anyways. And um, on the back here, it shows us all three pieces in the set. This is a great set to begin with, but the one that was on my hit list first was the Gasser, just because that's what I'm into. Second is going to be the Advent R32. Now, thirdly will be the Lancia Rally, but um, if I don't get the Lancia, no big deal. Uh, as I mentioned before, I'm not a huge golf collector, um, so if it would have been like a, I don't know, R32 or, I don't know, a Datsun 510 with golf livery, it would have been a little different, but since it's the Lancia, not a fan of that car, not a big, big fan of golf, I do like it, but not a huge fan, so... I do have to get the R32, though. But it's a great lineup, though. This is a great set. All three pieces are really cool. Just voicing my opinion on what I like, what I collect. So these are the two that I must have. And the Lancia, if I can get it cheap enough, why not? So let's open this guy up. And I did not pre-open this before the show. So let me try to finagle this off because I do display my team transporters recarded 
um, just because they don't take up as much room when they're in the packages hanging on the wall. But I do love to open them to take pictures of them. So that actually opened kind of nicely, guys. See, that's how I try to open it, just kind of finagle the edges up. That way it opens without really ripping the back paper and such so it worked out pretty well on this one um, this is the first Ford C800 hauler that I got I wanted to get the 64 Galaxy one but I never was able to acquire that one uh, well at least I haven't been able to acquire it yet so maybe in the future I can so there we have it there is your 65 Cyclone number 9 and then your C800 hauler and this thing looks really good with the chrome five spokes on the hauler and then that red and white gasser and then I guess I could put this other red and white one down here well maybe not it doesn't fit so well so yeah never mind on that one I guess I could tow it behind there or something like that but uh, yeah it doesn't fit on there so well um, but anyways uh, unless I can put it, yeah, that's not going to work either. So, yeah, anyways, it doesn't fit on there so good as a gasser. Uh, maybe something smaller or, yeah, just kind of tow him behind like that. So there's your hauler and then a pair of Cyclones on it. But anyways, let's put him back and get a better look at this team transporter. First, the car. And so this is your ninth one and this actually looks pretty good wish they would have done the five slots or once again the chrome center lines in the front and this says comet racing 2 so kind of cool that they're using the comet name instead of overusing the cyclone detailed tail lights and then you do have a custom plate let's see if we can get it to focus and it's um, FX Racing, something like this. I'm going to have to read that later and put it in the comments. Um, so, co-sponsors on the side. Comet Racing, once again. Headlight, Tampos, looks good. The white stripe and blower engine, blacked out windows, looks pretty good. Yeah, really nicely looking car. Let's spin it again and see... If I can get it to focus on the plate. Yeah, it's... Yeah. I'm not sure what that's supposed to say. So, yeah, I'll try to... Uh, interpret it later. But anyways, um... A great looking car. And then your transporter this is a really cool looking transporter uh, so glad I picked this up and really cool has the gassers emblem on the side of it your co-sponsors Lakewood Hearst Holly Edelbrock so really nicely done truck tell light tampo is on it and then nice detail with the Ford on the front, headlights, the grill area, everything's nicely done on this truck. Um, so yeah, really nice setup on this. So yeah, just shame that I can't get both of those on there. But anyways, I guess I could do it like that toy in behind and like a tow bar something like that so anyways um nice team transporter uh hopefully we can get the ad van one here in the next couple of weeks and unbox it together but uh if not no biggie at least we got the cyclone as i said that's my uh main objective is trying to get these gassers and race cars and such so there you have it guys there are six of the seven rubber tire cyclones out there the one missing is the convention one from texas and then you have two 
plastic will ones, the RLC selections from 2012 and your cool classics from 2013. So hope you guys enjoyed this look at the Cyclones and all of its variants. Uh, so on Saturday, we'll be back to take a look at transporters. As I said before, we're going to be taking a look at a couple from M2, actually three different models from M2, uh, a Mac, a Chevy, and a Dodge. Then you have a ramp back Ford, actually a couple of ramp back Fords from uh Green light, and then a ramp back forward from green light. Then we have our Hot Wheels, which we're going to bring out a retro rig and uh, probably the Secura. Um, no, not the Secura, but the uh, Horizon Hauler, and then your Aero Lift. Taking a look at all of these different transporter car haulers from different manufacturers to see which premium brand has the best ones or look at the pros and cons of each so i think i like all of them but i think they all have some flaws that they could improve on uh and stuff like this so i'll let you know my outlook on this on saturday and uh if you have not subscribed yet please remember to do so please give me a thumbs up and tell your friends about my channel, share the video, and then enjoy the rest of your week, guys, and I will talk to you this weekend. Thanks for watching.